morning guys and welcome back to the channel my name is cash and today uh we are bringing you guys a pretty uh interesting video relating to gsx and um you know boosting the performance of getting the best out of your simulator while using gsx now uh gsx as you see i have it opened here i'm just waiting for it to close down so i can uh do what i need to do now um my, on my last video i did mention that i do not use gsx i only booted it up so i can do some testing and uh made some adjustments did a few things here and there uh to try to get uh gsx working and get it to the uh, point where i can successfully use my simulator without having to um worry about you know the stuttering that i experienced previously uh now with that being said i did go ahead and make some adjustments i made a couple of flights using gsx and i noticed that i know it's a very interesting trend here uh so one of the main things that i uh realized or i understood while uh, testing this is with gsx uh, if you have your GSX running um, and you have your traffic and so on loaded up, uh, like I'm going to pull up my simulator here. I'm just going to go ahead and close that, get back to the uh, world, um, not the world map, to the options menu, uh, general options. And let's go over, if you notice, I'm still using the same settings that I used previously in my last video. Um, I did use AMD Fidelity effects sharpening. I didn't see a difference. I turned it back down, no issues. Uh, however, traffic, I tested it this using uh, ships and ferries, leisure boats. I ramped up a few things here. And what I noticed was, um, you know, with GSX enabled and you have your um, airport vehicle density and so on, um, this affects GSX highly. Okay, um, it's something that affects GSX uh, to a point, of, it's not yet running, I'm going to have to close it using my task manager, um, but it is something that affects a GSX uh, pretty highly, and uh, most of the time, uh, we don't expect for this to actually load, um, mess it up. However, GSX does provide you with worker, um, or ground workers, it does provide you with um, airport vehicles ground aircraft is something that it does not provide you with however this conflicts with the gsx so most of the times whenever you run gsx you are gonna um, experience stuttering if these are here because these conflict with gsx and it creates issues for you whenever you try to load your flights or whenever you try to fly into an airport and first of all microsoft flight simulator is trying to load worker density workers ground aircraft and airport vehicles and also gsx is also trying to do the same thing with at a higher quality than them uh, now, this will cause your system to freeze up, um, stutter, or sometimes crash desktop during landings, or it may just be downright unusable. Well, while you're on that sim, you may hear some stuttering or some broken transmissions. That happens whenever you're running, uh, whenever you have these turned up while GSX is enabled. Now, I would suggest turning these down and um keeping it as is this that way it will assist you in getting everything loaded up quickly uh with no issues or no stuttering in gsx now i did test this and i did realize that whenever these are turned on they do create some stuttering whenever they're turned off gsx loads fine um and it runs perfectly so i would suggest you guys having these turned off here so that they so that your system um is able to handle gsx or is able to process gsx a lot better than normal now another thing that i'm gonna take you guys into is gsx is a program that loads a huge amount of um objects into your sim into your simulator right uh now the thing is if you are like me who want to get everything and want everything to look you know the way that it should and beautiful um i keep everything for a gsx turn on but if you feel that you know you are experiencing any longer load times for example your sim may load up in let's say uh two to three minutes but with gsx enabled you get a 
double the load time or even triple the load time, maybe 10 minutes and your sim has not yet even booted up. Um, this is something that you are going to need to do in order for you to um, see you know, a noticeable difference. Now, what you're gonna do is open your FS Dream Team Installer. Um, now, the main reason why my own maybe crashed or, well, my I was testing this a second ago and it kind of froze up for me. Um, one of the things that you may need to do is open up your GSX Pro or your FS Dream Team Installer. Uh, if you see here, I'm on the latest um, Ground Services Pro, uh, 3.09. 3.0.9 and what you're going to do is go to your config option that little wheel here that cog wheel you're going to click on config and you're going to wait for a second it is going to load up um your jetways enhancements and all these good stuff now if you notice i have all of my jetways are enabled for i have not excluded third party yet um you can exclude third party but i have not done it yet um this here we're not really looking at um, the jetway configuration for GSX world what you're gonna be looking is for the airport services configuration now with the airport services configuration um, basically what GSX what this does is uh, for specific areas in the world they do have uh, specific liveries for their vehicles and for well specific ground crew okay so for example in the u.s you will have southwest american um, delta air canada these types of um, things right um, now this determines if you are going to have um airline specific or airport specific um liveries or airport specific crew or if you're going to have a gsx default crew where all of the um details are stripped off and they just use one basic thing um so you will just get one basic airport services package um if you are experiencing longer than normal load times i would suggest hitting this button right here i'm not going to hit it because i i'm going to keep it on for my sake uh you're going to hit this button here and this is gonna go blank so all these are gonna move over to the disabled um tab and you're uh, right here it's gonna show apply apply is gonna light up here you're gonna hit apply and that's exactly what you're gonna do and you're gonna hit close once you hit close um there you will experience a faster load time because i have tested it already um where i loaded up and my load times drastically did run down uh, so you're going to close that and once you close you are going to um, run your sim again now this will also uh, help you guys out with persons who are experiencing the gsx uh, stuck on gsx's loading screen uh, now that in and of itself is just a, a slight bug um, it has not fully loaded up yet so it takes some time to load up all of the um, crown information all of the jetway information all of the traffic information uh, so you are gonna have to wait a minute um, or you can on the upper uh, on your little taskbar that pops up whenever you're inside of um, your world bar whenever you're inside of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator um, you are gonna click on that and you are gonna look for a gsx option it's gonna be highlighted showing gsx just click on it so you can uh, close it out that means that gsx will close out and then you click on it again it will reload gsx again so it will open up and then you will see uh, gsx loads up uh, now i would suggest before closing any of your flights that you not highlight gsx uh for example i'm gonna hop into uh, my sim here which i should have done already uh let me get off of this aircraft and put our trusty cessna skyline i should go with the vision jet our trusty vision jet let's go back into uh dominica here where we usually do all of our testing and we are gonna load up a flight okay um, now, I don't want this video to be a lot longer or a 30-minute video. I just want it to be like about a 10-minute video showing showcasing this. Uh, so, I'm going to be cutting some parts out of this video, especially the loading up of this screen. Uh, so, we should be back in the... Um, while the sim is loading. Uh, well, mine is loading up pretty quickly. If you notice, I have not... Again, everything is still enabled. And this is not the type of loading that I'm talking about. Is when you first 
pull up the sim when you start the sim you should see um you know load issues there was going to be an extremely long load time um so your load times are going to be horrendous i'm not gonna lie it's ridiculous um so we are gonna just wait for this to load up and then we should um have something going here for you guys all right all this is gonna be cut out if it does not load as fast as i want it to usually my vision okay there we go also uh, i don't need to cut this out this is all fine um as again, as stated previously, um, my sim does experience some startup or boot upload um, or lag um, as everything is loading up. Utala scripted engine has not yet started. Um, okay, so we don't Utala scripted engine. Okay, so that basically happened because I was running. Um, I was running G. I was running the GSX installer while. Um, FSX or Microsoft Flight Simulator was running. Okay, so we got it's all loaded up. Hopefully, we can get it going now. All right, let's turn GSX up. This is what I'm talking about. The highlights. Um, when you highlight GSX, so it has not yet started. It's not yet thinking about getting it started. Now, uh, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm talking about in terms of highlighting. When you load up GSX, it will be highlighted like this one is, like uh, our Flow Pro is. Um, if you click on the GSX menu, you may see it say loading GSX menu, please wait, and you will be stuck on a loading screen like this. Now, this usually happens um, whenever it just gets start, gets loaded up or your Kutala scripting engine loads up too late, like mine did. Um, best thing that I can suggest to you whenever you're experiencing this is just give it some uh, give it some time. If after like about a minute or two minutes, you're still on a loading screen, close gsx here disable it basically you're literally closing the program when you click this button here and you click it again and it will reopen and start loading up again that way you know all the information that was already loaded up previously is going to get closed down and then it's going to reload um, now again mine is not loading up because of the fact that i have had um had to open my gsx menu or my uh, fs dream team installer while i was um in the sim that created this type of issue um however um this should stop um the whole loading process and you should be all set um so yeah once um and again whenever before you load or you before you close your simulator um i would suggest okay there it is so we did load up perfectly fine you see it did take a minute or almost a minute or two um before you close your simulator i would suggest that you close um or you click this off now what happens is when you do that you basically close the program gsx itself in your simulator um that way when you load up your simulator later it is actually going to be loading a lot quicker because gsx is not actually running in the background now if i had gsx like highlighted here loading up running in the background what would typically happen is i would have a longer load time to get into the simulator because gsx is a load inside by side and loading up everything however when i got in um, and i clicked on it that's when it loaded up gsx most of my information was already loaded so um this is all that i have for you today guys um if he did help you out in terms of your uh gsx issues that you were experiencing um then i would love you guys to leave a like on this video we're trying to get up to at least uh 500 subs i would love you guys to subscribe to the channel and i hope you guys uh, there's the uh off screen terrain pre uh going on i would love you guys to um you know just give us a sub to the channel it would be awesome and very amazing hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i am out peace